In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, footprinting and uh, reconnaissance, just as a, an introduction. Uh, and uh, in the second part of this video, I'm going to talk to you about search engines. And in the following one, I will show you a little bit, a bit about uh, website footprinting, emails, network footprinting and social engineering. Footprinting usually refers to the term of um, tracking somebody or something, some traces that someone left. And uh, reconnaissance uh, usually refers to um, something like uh, scanning. Footprinting is the first step for pen testing and as a pen tester, you will need to gather information about internal and external security architecture of a target. Uh, getting information about uh, a target reduces your focus area. And getting the information in might take days, months, um, it won't happen over the night. Just in case it happens over the night or very, very fast, consider yourself very, very lucky. As you are reducing your focus area, that means uh, you found some kind of uh, vulnerabilities about a system that you can uh, exploit. And all of your findings, they will need to be documented. The footprinting and reconnaissance, which is uh, usually done through search engines, you have something like uh, Google Maps or Wikimapia, that you can use to get some location information about your target. Uh, you can also use uh, Google or Bing or uh, DuckDuckGo or any other search engine. For example, for um, Google, you can even um, set it up to get uh, notified about um, your target in case it does something. Let's say that uh, you have a um, company that uh, you have a contract to do some pen testing for it and you can uh, set up your uh, google to get uh, some kind of alerts i'm not going to show you how you can set up um, uh, google to send you alerts you can find uh, a lot of information uh, about it on uh, youtube on google itself information about uh, people you can find it either on uh, uh, people.com private eye uh, you can also find information uh, about people on uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram. Of course, you can also find uh, information about people on LinkedIn and Monster. Uh, on LinkedIn and Monster, you can also find uh, information about companies. Let's say that the company is posting um, an advertisement for a job which is vacant. And over there, they are usually saying... Um, we need uh, people which have uh, access, for example, with um, Python or with Java. And uh, that already told you, tells you that the, that company, that specific company, most probably they have some kind of web pages which, where, where they are using Java, where they are using Python. Uh, for example, they can say like, um, we, we need a security engineer that has a lot of experience with uh, checkpoint firewalls so that immediately tells you that that company has checkpoint firewalls in their network so you can use this information in order to find some kind of uh, potential vulnerabilities regarding checkpoint because they might not use the latest and greatest update from checkpoint and they might have some kind of vulnerabilities that you can exploit Naturally, you can find a lot of information also on communities, uh, something like forums. And uh, usually when you are looking to get some kind of information about people, you need to look for uh, personal and contact information, uh, friends, relatives, interests, events, location, groups or products that that person is uh, in touch with. And then you also have the social engineering opportunity. Like for example, you can um, uh, steal some, someone's uh, identity. You can uh, create a false profile. 
you can um, do a lot of damage with these ones. And uh, this is like a social engineering opportunity. And then you have the spoofing opportunity or the malware dissemination. And what do I mean about malware dissemination? It means that, let's say that you create a fake profile and uh, you're going to use that profile to send someone a picture and in that picture there is something which can be hidden that might cause a lot of damage let's say for example uh, uh, ransomware attacks you're just sending a picture somebody downloads that picture and in that moment when they download the picture after five or ten minutes they will they will find out that uh, their uh, hardware is encrypted and they cannot access files or photos or whatever they have on the machine and by the way there is something which i forgot to specify with uh, job sites like uh, linkedin or monster you can also set up alerts uh, in there so you can say that you are interested about company x and whatever uh, happens on linkedin about company x you're gonna get notified like uh, let's say that uh, you'd um, trying to find some information about a company that is using different technologies and once you set up an alert for a specific company to to get notified every time they post a job you can find uh, all the job descriptions in there and you usually you can also find the technologies that they are working with or they have in their environment um, financial information is quite useful because um, you can find for example uh, the shareholders for a company you can find their names and then you can uh, later on try to find them on uh, social media and usually they you can do it um, on uh, google slash finance or uh, uh, this one here google slash finance or finance.com or for example edgar uh, database uh, market watch business wire and i think there are many more out there on the internet so you can uh, you can try to see what they are posting there like for example names uh, email addresses which might lead to accounts that a company has and so on uh, netcraft uh, and show them they are usually used to find the uh, public and restricted websites of a company with netcraft you can use it to find um, the ip block to find host names, uh, to grab uh, login banners, and with Shodan, this one is a search engine built with the purpose of uh, indexing everything which is uh, connected to the internet, like firewalls of all kinds, uh, um, servers, uh, security cameras, routers, switches, uh, and all the devices which out there on which are out there on the internet uh, and naturally it can help you to identify sites which are reachable from the internet so you can try to log in uh, into them uh, you can um, find maybe some kind of uh, system which is using the default password and uh, at that very moment you can uh, easily get in and uh, have access now let me show you a little bit uh, Netcraft and Shodan because these ones uh, most probably they are quite uh, new for you and you are not familiar with it uh, like let's say like uh, people and private type which are very simple to use or social uh, media sites or job sites so. and let's go to Netcraft okay so right now we are on netcraft.com and um, let's go to um, Let's go to find some kind of information about the website. Hack this dot co dot uk. Let's see what kind of information we were gonna get about them. Okay, so I did a typo. I wrote to UKI, so let's write UK. And here you can see with um, Netcraft uh, the site, uh, the full site, yeah but um, you can also find the net block which is unknown in this case you have uh, linux as operating system and let's uh, check the site report this is the most interesting one 
you can see here the title the rank uh, netcraft uh, risk rating so there is almost no risk you can uh, easily browse it um, this is the domain the IP address the server name here you have some uh, DNS admin there are cases in which uh, people actually they are leaving their own username here this is the netblock owner currently is unknown uh, this is the um, web server type is NGIX right the IP addresses you have on these ones there is some kind of uh, details about the site like the server side PHP and SSL then you have client side JavaScript yeah, and so on let's take a look right now at uh, Shodan Shodan.io And here you can find the full name, shodan.io. And on Shodan here, this time we will gonna look for a port number. Let's say that we want to see everything which is related to port 80. Yeah, I have already done the previous search. And I will click on the search. Ah, okay, you need to log in. If you don't have an account please create one i will just uh, log in with mine right now okay so after the login uh, we have a lot of information about port 80 and you can see that most of them they are from uh, united states uh, then the next one is china netherlands germany japan and so on the top organizations are akamai technologies amazon the top operating systems are with uh, Linux, then Windows, Linux, and so on. Let's try to click on this one and see what happens. Okay, so this one is from uh, Poland. Uh, you can already see the vulnerabilities that it has. So we can see a PHP or most of them, first three are PHP ones. So most of them they are related to PHP, yeah. This is the SSL certificate that they are using. This is the Apache web server. NTP. So as you can see there, there were a lot of details about this one. And uh, you can uh, see here also all the ports which are opened like 25, 80, 123, 143, 443 and so on. I'm not gonna go into details. If uh, you want to find out more, uh, let's say about uh, the Shodan uh, search syntax, you can simply do a Google search with shodan.io search terms. Yeah, And you can see them here. You can say something like uh, title, HTML, product, network, version, port, OS, country, city and so on next on our list is um, exploit uh, database and google hacking database let's quickly see what uh, google hacking database is so for example if you search something on google like uh, exploit database and you're going to this one by the way the um, explode database is uh, currently maintained by uh, oscp you can find uh, a lot of uh, information about potential uh, vulnerabilities. So let's say that uh, the company that uh, allowed you to test their security devices, let's say that they have uh, Juniper devices in their network. Uh, you might want to type in here the word Juniper. And a lot of them already popped up. So you can see some something which are like uh, vulnerable. So for example, if we, uh, we were going to go to this one, you can find some details about how you can uh, exploit. And uh, here you can find the information. There is another search engine 
which is uh, integrated with uh, Kali and it comes uh, with Kali by default. It is called the uh, Harvester. Hit enter right now. You can see some uh, options that uh, you can use um, Harvester to search for. So, you, for example, you can use uh, search engines like these ones. Uh, you can uh, use um, Google Dorking instead of normal Google search and many others. Let's go for mail addresses and we can do the harvester and then um, minus D to search for um, domain or company name. We will say here hack this uk and let's search it in uh, Google this time why not so right now we started to search in Google as you can see there were no emails found let's try to change the search engine right now um, just found some ips let's try and go for uh, linkedin and these are the details that uh, it found on linkedin related to hackdays.co.uk thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe and talk to you guys in the next one.